This video demonstrates how to move a column of data in an Excel workbook by using the Python library OpenPyXL. Here is our testing document, and you can see a single column of data in column A. We have a series of random numbers. I will be moving this entire column from column A to column C using Python. Here I'm bringing in my workbook as WB, and I'm selecting the worksheet as WS. You can see I will be saving the work in the cell below. To start the process, I need to find out the last row of data in the document. This is very important, as it will ensure I am capturing every cell of the column. The best way to do this is to use the max row attribute of the worksheet. It's especially useful for very large data sets. You can see here that my max row is 11. Moving the column itself is actually very simple and only requires this small for loop. Let me walk through it line by line. First, we iterate through a range of numbers, the first number in that range being 1 and the last row, or 11, being the max row variable, plus 1. The range function doesn't include the second number in the range, so I have to add 1 to max row to make sure I'm accurately capturing every single row of data in my column. I then access a value of a given cell by using the worksheet's cell function. As this for loop cycles through, I will be incrementing up the rows I am accessing, as you can see right here where I am assigning row to be this row loop variable. I am also explicitly stating the column is the first column with the second argument passed. The value attribute of this cell will give me the exact value of the cell as it is displayed in the cell when the workbook is open in Excel. You can see I am assigning this value to the value A variable. Next, I have two value assignments happening. The first one is specifying column 3, while the second one states column 1. For column 3, I am assigning value A, that variable, onto the row of the given loop. And for column 1, I am eliminating what is in that cell by assigning this specific loop's row value none. This creates an empty cell. Let me execute this cell, save the workbook, and see if we were able to successfully move the column. And there you have it. The contents previously contained in column A now exist only in column C. So it's quite simple. You just find the max row and then use a ranged for loop to retrieve the value of a column place that value in a new column, and override the initial column value with the none keyword. As always, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Please let me know in the comments if it was useful. Do give this video a thumbs up, it really does help others find this content. And please hit subscribe so that you can know when the next video comes out.